and it's lights out, away we go. Valtteri Bottas pointing towards Lewis Hamilton gets an excellent start and Max Verstappen's alongside Hamilton as well. Bottas is into the lead and they're all swarming around behind him. Into the first corner we go. Bottas leads from Hamilton Verstappen on the inside. Lance Stroll is uh, trying to put Alex, Alex Albon under pressure as well. Charles Leclerc is ahead of Alex Albon still and there's a tangle there and it's the McLaren. And Carlos Sainz has been spun round and there's even further trouble way, way back. Sebastian Vettel picks his way through the melee and oh no, look, it's the Red Bull of Max Verstappen that's out and into the gravel and for the second weekend in a row, it's a DNF for MAX. On board with Pierre Gasly, Kimi Raikkonen, the left-hand side in front in the Alfa Romeo, he goes up into the air, he hits Grosjean, he hits Verstappen, Kimi Raikkonen also hits Verstappen for, for good measure as well. Vettel's got a broken front wing as well. There's at least half a dozen cars involved in this. And the Red Bull of Verstappen definitely took a big hit in the gearbox and sent him into the gravel trap. Valtteri Bottas getting temperature into those tyres, weaving around a bit. Needs to be a bit careful because Hamilton's right beside him. The safety car has gone, the light's gone green, and Bottas is away, and there's a big crash at the back. And that is the Alfa Romeo. Uh, I think of Kimi Raikkonen, but certainly Antonio Giovinazzi uh, was involved in that skirmish as well, and also the Haas of uh, Kevin Magnussen. And we've got another safety car coming our way. That was stupid from whoever was at the front. They want to kill us or what? Well, that, that looked very nasty indeed from the cockpit of Romain Grosjean. You can understand his his remarks there, can't you, Martin? It was oh, obvious. Oh, that's not good. The back of the pack decided the race was back underway and the front hadn't yet accelerated because Bottas wanted to protect himself. He cannot be overtaken till the, the finish line, so he doesn't have to go until then. And we've red flagged the race for the second weekend in a row. It's lights out and away we go again. Once again, Bottas gets a really good start. Hamilton moves over to cover Leclerc. It's a, not a good start from Alex Albon because Stroll is already ahead of him and Daniel Ricciardo as well. Now Perez is putting pressure on him as well around the outside of turn one. There goes Lewis Hamilton into the lead ahead of his teammate, Valtteri Bottas. Leclerc holds third from Lance Stroll. Sergio Perez has made up more places ahead now of Daniel Ricciardo. But the two Mercedes swapping positions at the second standing start just like they did at the first. Albon had a difficult start in the Red Bull. It's not been the best of starters. This is looking really handy for Racing Point. But Hamilton got the start, got the slipstream, brave on the brakes down the outside. And that's all about punching a hole through the air by his teammate. We can see now that Daniel Ricciardo, very close to Sergio Perez, has got DRS as well. Look, there's the big gap in the rear wing. Ricciardo's getting closer, getting closer, getting alongside, getting ahead. Even before the first corner, that's... Look mightily easy for Daniel Ricciardo to move up into fifth place in this race. We're on lap 18 of this race and there goes Lance Stroll on Charles Leclerc. And as they move around the right hand hairpin, Lance Stroll is up into the podium places where he finished in Monza last week. He's back up into the podium places now and Alex Albon has got past Sergio Perez. So while Racing Point gain one place with the other car, they lose one place as well. We see Daniel Ricciardo gaining on Charles Leclerc, gaining on Charles Leclerc, gaining on Charles Leclerc, leaving Charles Leclerc for dust, quite frankly, here in Mugello. Ricciardo's uh, coming for his pit stop. Lando Norris, who was threatening the undercut on Sergio Perez, is now thinking, I'd like the overtake instead, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. And Lando Norris moves up into fifth place. So the undercut has worked with Renault, who are now ahead of Lance Stroll. Albon's up into third, but he hasn't pitted uh, since the restart. Vettel, it seems, he's not making any inroads on Russell. No, and but, maybe uh, Charles Leclerc Oh, and it's, it's, someone's had it off. And into the gravel they go. And we just look now to see that is Lance Stroll. The safety car now comes out because Lance Stroll at Arabiata 2 has had an off. Oh nothing he could do about that at all i got a puncture so a second red flag for this race but what does that then do for the restart it's lights out and away we go once more hamilton does get a great start Ricardo gets a brilliant start he's ahead of bottas it's hamilton Ricardo, bottas and then behind this three on the line and Danny Kvyat is joining in the fun as well. Perez is just ahead of Alex Albon as up the hill they climb towards Luco and Bottas trying to get past Danny Ricciardo, but there's no room there.
there for him. Only 12 cars, but on the field. But what an exciting start it was as Alex Albon goes round the outside of Sergio Perez. Great move, and he had to get that done. Here goes Valtteri Bottas, then on Daniel Ricciardo. They can't turn the engine mode up in the way they used to. He's going to have to try and find a way around the outside, and he does. Hamilton leads from Valtteri Bottas. Ricciardo now third. Perez wants to get past Albon. Nothing doing at this moment. Alex Albon, one of a few drivers that's never stood on the podium. He fancies that podium place. He wants to take it off Daniel Ricciardo. He's going to go the long way round San Donato. The first corner, it now opens up for Alex Albon. Lovely move from the Red Bull driver, because when he swoops left-handed, he is ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, and he is up into third place. He comes, crosses the line, and wins the Tuscan Grand Prix in 2020. Valtteri Bottas has to contend with second place once again. And Alex Albon, finally, it's third time lucky for Alex Albon after seeing two podiums snatched away from him through crashes with this man, Lewis Hamilton. He is in the top three in Formula One. That same old winner dominating again. Lewis Hamilton takes the inaugural Grand Prix at Mugello. Ferrari's own track, but very much put into second place today by Mercedes, who keep dominating Formula One and now have a healthy, healthy lead in both championships.